Yes, come on, come on. I'm playing some farming simulator. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, no, no. Put that. Turn off the PlayStation here. Mm. Ding. All right. Turn off the TV. All right. I wonder what we're doing today. Ring, ring. Hello? It's in. Yes, okay, I'm coming down right now. A TLX 2020 is in. A TLX 2020 is in. Oh, I'm never gonna miss half of my life. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Do I be back here today? I'm back from this. Today, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I finally got my TLX 2020. Uh, the wife just called because she works at the dealership and she said that the TLX 2020 came in. But she likes to run, and uh, today she forgot. Today she forgot to come back home, and then she got late for work, so she ran a little late for work. So now I have a car to use to haul my TLX 2020 back. The TLX 2020 is in. TLX, 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 TLX. TLX. So this is actually the wife's truck, well, it's our truck, but mostly the wife's, because I don't like this truck at all. That's why I, I ordered the TLX, because that's a manly truck. Who can I see anything else but my TLX right now? TLX, 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 She pulls it like nothing. TLX on. Oh. oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. TLX. TLX. I love this truck. Yeah, it's so awesome. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on here? TLX is the most expensive truck in the world right now. Sixty thousand dollars for this truck. Uh, well, let me, let me, let me the truck. Let's keep let's keep it turned on. But uh, uh is there what's going on? Oh, there's no one in there. Whoops. Sir, what's going on? Construction. What does it look like? I mean, what are you guys doing? There's a pothole on the other side of this, and someone fell into it, and then now it's bigger, and it's starting to leak into the road. So we gotta fix it up before someone else dies, and we get blamed for it. So that's what we're doing. All right, you don't gotta freak out. Construction actually looks fun. Oh, I might just join a construction company. I don't have a job. I just sit at home all day. Whoa. They really upgraded. Okay, let me fill you guys in. So, 
20 years ago, we used to have a major construction company, and this was their building right here, this white one. And then recently, the building had an incident, and then there was a fire in there. But the, there was no one in there to start the fire. So they don't know what happened. All they know is someone got attention of it and said, my uncle owned that, and then I I have some money left over from him, so I'm gonna build my own construction company. So he built it. Now he's a multi-millionaire, and he owns the biggest construction the biggest construction company the world has ever known. His uncle, not not him. He owned the biggest construction construction company the world has ever known. And then he died because. They don't know how. They just found his body somewhere and said all of his equipment was stolen, everything except for his millions. His millions were still in his bank account in a trust for his grandson, which is obviously that dude. So then that happened, but what they don't know is how he died. So they're trying to figure that out right now. But yeah, so the dude has a construction company and now he's got one of the best construction companies in this uh, in the country right now but he's still making it bigger but he doesn't have enough money to make that upgrade so now he's just doing some jobs the next piece of equipment I think he wants to buy he said I think the next piece of equipment he said he wants to buy is something very important I think he said like a, like a I don't know if there's they have stuff on the market he said like a like front loader, you know, like front turns, and then they call it a wheel, wheel thing. Oh, oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. He said he wants to buy one of these. He wants to buy something like this. But he doesn't have enough money yet. So he's gonna do. He said he wants to do one more job. He said he's gonna buy one of these. Whoa. So, yeah, all right. Get the TLX right here. Well, guys, I'm getting a farm sim 19 for the PC. Doesn't matter if I don't get uh, the Xbox controller, I can still buy that later. But yeah, so I'm getting FS19 first, and then I'm gonna get a headset for my uh, my PS4, and then I'm going to get a uh, Xbox controller unless I can buy it all right now. Like if my paycheck is $120, yeah, I'll be able to get it all. So right now I'm thinking about. Uh, joining the construction company because I know that the dude posted something on Facebook that said like help needed so I'm not sure if he still needs help dude, why is there a crow glitching out at my door okay. so I'm going to look on Facebook and look at my computer and then I'm going to see what I can do alright let's look at the computer Okay, guys, just got done on the computer. So, apparently, we he does need help. Up. So, I don't have a computer, really, but this is a smart TV, so I can look on Facebook at it with it. The remote is like a computer. So, I'm going to go over to the construction company and see if he needs some help with some stuff. So...
Okay. The construction company is right over here. I wonder if we can go inside there. That'd be cool, because I used to work here, honestly. When I was young, my dad used to be the boss of a, a boss. Like, he used to be the boss of one of the parts of it. Like, he used to be the boss thing of, the, of digging, and then he wasn't the big, big boss, you know, like, who run the whole company. He was one of the, he was like one of the bosses, like on the on charts, not, not the owner. Hello, is anyone here? In the office. This is a really crappy office. It's a table with two chairs. Oh, and a drinking machine, okay. Alright, so uh, I'm here for the job. All right, thank you, sir. All right. He said I can get a job, but if I screw it up, he's gonna kill me. That was a deal. Ooh, 218. Oh, and That could be hooked up to my truck. He said I can do join the dudes in the field. And he said, if you don't understand where that is, look on the computer. Good job, okay. Alright. Dudes in the field, dudes in the field. Okay. Alright, now I see where it is. Yep. He said, if I want to join too, I gotta get a light bar on something. So. So, I'm gonna go put a light bar on my truck. Which I don't want to do, because they're... Super ugly. So it uh, looks like I'm getting a construction light bar on the truck. So let's customize it real quick. Customize. We're going to head right on out over to this field right over here. And... Mm. Custom mine. Yeah, we probably, uh, probably can't stuck through right there. I think that's going to be a little bit easier for us. Let's just cut in through over here. As always, you guys enjoy the next video. Make sure you hit that like. Okay, so let's head over. Wow, that's bright. Okay. Let's head over. So apparently the construction company paid for that, like they paid the light, they paid the company over there. And all I need to do is put in the work. I'm gonna go actually park over here. Cause this dude can't even get anywhere cause he's a dump. He's a dump. He said the real crew won't be there for the next uh, 20 minutes, so I gotta get started by myself. Ooh. This is like the exact same as my truck, it's just called a Tibbet. I'm gonna go fill this thing up with dirt, and then I'm gonna go dump it over here. So. So let's buy the dirt capsule. Ooh, wow, my back hurts. Guys, if you don't know, I actually work at a farm. Like an actual farm, not this one. Like in real life, I work at a farm. So I can make my money and do everything. Everything. Like after like a few weeks, your back and shoulders start to hurt. I don't know if it's just the way I slept or just like how it feels to work on a farm. No. So I'm gonna fill this up real quick. This stuff actually fills up a lot faster than like other stuff. That's what I like about this. Yeah, we have to fill it with seeds. I know it's I know it's weird. But we don't have any dirt. 
because, you know, I'm not playing on PC yet, so the thing that we have to use for dirt is seeds. Which, you know, it works, it's good. It's kind of brown like dirt, so. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna dump the dirt right about here. So we're going to have to uh, buy the land and then sell it once we're done because apparently we're not allowed to do it unless we own land. So, unlike FS15 where you can just dump whatever the crap you want. to fill in the hole real quick and then I should have done this I should have done all this before So now that we got that done, we gotta get the uh, excavator moving and all the excess. All the excess dirt needs to be dumped behind the shop. Because we use dirt a lot. We don't use a lot of bricks. Woo! Woo! That's what they were talking about too. He said if that hot pot hole gets any bigger, it can start affecting towards the road. And some idiot started driving into a little pothole started driving on the side of the road because he was drunk and then all of a sudden he steered tipped into the pothole and made it bigger so now they gotta fill it in before you know it gets any bigger than that I should have done all this before but you know I didn't have time Bill Ramirez when I get a backhoe. I've never been really good with the excavators. Okay. Let's so check it out real quick. Yeah, she's still in. The paddle's still bigger, but, you know, we're going to get it filled in real soon, so it's fine.
Now, let's see if uh, the internet is telling the truth, because I'm thinking about getting a big trailer going up to my uh, GLX 2020 here, and, uh, and, you know, getting it in the dump site, because apparently I can't get that. There's not enough dirt, and I dumped two loads here, so, you know. Oh, I know, um, they came out with a brand new tipper a few days ago. It just got released to public. So, I can't remember what it was. Um, <laughs> well, the trailer is apparently. So, we get a look. Sorry, I got some choking real quick. I'm, I'm choking. Uh, yeah, alright, basic. No, I don't want expansion. I don't want expansion. Active. White hairs. Alright. 20 foot gooseneck tipper. It worked perfectly. So I'm gonna hop in the semi over here in the shop. And then we're gonna use 20 foot gooseneck tipper with that semi because I don't wanna have to move my truck because right now it's guarding that whole part of the road. Because if it gets too close to the construction site, we could kill someone. So that's why I, uh, stuff's happening. Also, so they're firing someone because I know how to operate the semi better than them. <laughs> Can't believe I just got someone fired up because I'm better at driving a semi than them. So. I've also been operating a semi since I was 16, because that's when I started working at the construction company. And then recently I sold my semi because I didn't think I'd ever drive one again. Because I didn't need it anymore. Whoa, okay. So guys, I am getting farm sim for the computer, which will be the coolest thing ever. Because then we can do like a whole bunch of stuff, and it'll be like graphics like this. So that's why I'm gonna like it a lot better. Okay. Alright, gotta make sure the uh, beacons are on, because this is an oversized load. No, no, it's on an oversized load, but, you know. I like to have my beacons on when I'm hauling something. Hey, I might as well use them. This looks like a Kenworth, so I like it. But my favorite semis, I think, are Freightliners. They're, like, the bomb. Looks like Kenworth. But I still want a Freightliner. They look awesome. They look awesome. They're awesome. They do. Oh, yeah, this thing can hold a lot more. It already passed 8,000. And I think you're halfway full yet. There we go. 13,000. That's half full. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. 
You know, I wish my other kid was here, because it'd probably be much easier with them. You know, I gotta do everything myself, because... That's how everybody is nowadays. You do it when everyone gets there, or you do it by yourself. It's like everyone's better nowadays. Second warm up a bit. That's my meadow. Let the stuff warm up and then get the job done. They offer you don't help. You get paid or you don't get paid. I like doing it by myself because then that puts more hours in for me. Makes me look better. father just passed away he was super rich i have 25 million dollars i'm gonna buy that backhoe thing that i always wanted i'm gonna keep it at my house though because i bought it but it's so hard with the excavator i'm used to backhoes Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to buy, I bought this thing, I'm going to start using her up.
I've never been good at operating. Dude, this is actually cool as crap. Guys, I think the uh, crew is going to get here in about 10 minutes, so let's wrap this up real quick. Yeah, I start, I'm starting to hear cars. The boss doesn't even know I bought this, so. He's going to be like, oh, did you buy that from me? I'm be like, no, I bought this because I'm not good at using excavators, but I am going to leave it at the shop so you can say that you have it. But it is mine, so. When you guys can't afford one, there you go. You guys are allowed. You guys are allowed to use it, but you have to ask me first, because I might want to use it sometimes. Because I'm, I am actually gonna start uh, a, a little construction company, like just a little one, you know, road stuff, roadside stuff, you know, like like this kind of. So,
change driving position. This was more flexible. This backhoe is more flexible than the excavator. Alright, here comes the rest of the crew. Here comes. Hey, we're good. We took you guys so long. Hey, aren't you the dude that I saw yesterday? Yeah, I work at the construction company now. Let's go. Oh, the boss finally bought one of these? Yo, move out of the way. I'm driving. Uh, no, he didn't. I did. What? What? Do not have any money? I have... $25 million, man. No, you don't. How do you know? Because you don't look like one of them kind of guys. Yeah, well, I don't want to spend my grandpa's money. But I did because I'm not good at using excavators. And you guys don't have anything else but an excavator. And a skid steer. And skid steers are also hard to run. Well, why are you using the back Because this one's flexible. Honestly, guys, like, I'm not joking. This is actually more flexible. Alright. Let's get to work, guys. Okay. So, we'll just set her up. We are done for the day. I'm gonna change the driving position. Make sure these dudes are working. Dude, this is so high. Dude, I can't even see the dozer. There we go. Now I can see some stuff. Dude, this would be the perfect way to end the video. Dude, I can see my. No, never mind. No, I can't. This is like totally worth $250,000. This is totally worth it. This thing works like a charm. Runs like a beast, works like a beast. Dude, this thing would be perfect for the construction company. Yeah, but they still want to buy one. This one's, I'm pretty sure, an extra few thousand dollars. So the construction company can't buy this one, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the boss wants that one, so at night you can take his lady up there, you know, make out. But, so, yeah, that one's too, yeah, this, I'm pretty sure he's gonna buy this one. It's an ex, it's less, it's less than, uh, it's less than $2,000. It's $30,000 less, so, I'm pretty sure he's gonna buy this one. 
so yeah. Keep that in mind. I don't know where to find oh, keep in mind when he buys it, then we'll make the next video, like when he buys it, and he's also probably going to get more equipment, uh, more equipment on the way. Like, I've only worked here one day and I've already got more equipment. Uh, it's already, this construction company's already got more equipment. It's already got a new trailer, tractor, bucket, and a shovel, so, you know, there's that. But I'm pretty sure they're also going to start using that shit as extra storage because they're not going to have enough room in there. So, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we can't do anything more for this hole. Pretty sure we've done all we can for today. So, we're going to pack all the stuff up, go back to the garage, and tomorrow we're going to finish it off. So, let's pack all the stuff up and, uh going. Through the shops right here, so I don't have to load anything up on trailers with this and that. I truly hope everything has blinkers. <laughs> so, so, that probably wasn't good. I'll pay for that. This truck was an FS 17 dude i love this truck like this is my legit favorite truck okay yeah i had to put that in the middle cuz i'm like a really hold on yeah all I know is that thing is worth, the dozer is worth more than almost anything here, but that thing deserves a spot, because that's like, so it's not worth more than our dozer, this is not worth more than our dozer, but it has more helping hands and probably more useful around here than the dozer, so we're going to keep that in here because that's it's easy access. There's locks on these gates here, so... Yeah, there's locks on these gates, see? Yeah, you can see where the fires happen. All around. Extra storage though. So they also recently moved some, some stuff in here. I mean, this was caught in the fire, but it's still okay. But they recently put this in, and uh, they got these in recently too. So... The lights still work in here. They're, they actually just put some lights in here. This place never had lights before. They even got the, but the outside lights did survive. They had outside lights, so they didn't look poor. They, didn't really learn. they were very poor, so they installed these outside lights uh, when this place was first built. I'm pretty sure they just changed them recently. To LEDs. So yeah. But this shop is totally worth more than that other one. This light shines directly down on the garage door. Uh, you can see the maximum clearance weight height 6.2 meters with 10.8 meters. So like literally you can see it all. It's th this garage is more a uh, bigger improvement than any garage you could ever ask for. Like so. Yeah, I'm gonna start packing everything up, and we'll finish the whole in the next episode. So, I'm gonna pack all this up, and then I can end the episode. But, so let's get this going. What I like about this dozer is it's got, like, shows you where all the lights are on and look at this thing it just literally lights up the whole place that's what i like about this thing this thing is so slow it's worth a million dollars when it goes this slow seriously Dozers in real life only cost like around four hundred thousand dollars. This one cost a million dollars. 
It costs two point three million dollars to install a barn. It does not cost a million dollars to get a dozer. No one buy it. Would be a rich dude that has nothing else to live for. Besides, he's always wanted a dozer. So I'll put the dozer down here. Alright, perfect. Let's run over here again. Get the uh, get the uh, semis. Then the TLXs. I'm gonna pull the two. I'm gonna pull the TLXs in. Like, I'm pretty sure when I buy cones, I'll probably put them around here. If I still have the cone mod. I'm not sure I do anymore. I don't have the cone mod. Wait. I don't have it. Crap. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to redownload the cone mod, but still. Right now we don't have cones, but I'm gonna pull my TLX and I'm gonna put it right here because this actually doesn't go holding anyone. It's actually my truck. That's why I have it because it's not a piece of crap that you buy from a used dealership. You know those trucks aren't used. That dumper is awesome. I like I like the dumper. I just wish it was bigger. Dude, look at these semis though. They buy some seriously good semis. Look at this. If you guys uh, don't have this, if you guys have this game for, um, if you guys have this game for Xbox, go join uh, BMS because they they talk about all the they talk about all the mods that come. They talk about like stuff like that. You can find almost any mod you want. But they talk about a whole bunch of stuff. If you have any questions, they'll answer them. I'm on BMS too, so you can message me. So go join um, Black Sheep Modding group on Facebook. It's awesome. I love it. It's pretty fun, honestly. This will probably be my first video that I've uploaded in a while, so. Because after this, I'm sending this straight off to YouTube. No editing, nothing. Straightforward video. But yeah. So I'm gonna see if Mr. M still has farm sim, and if he does, then me and him are gonna do this together. We're gonna make we're gonna make a problem, and then we're gonna jump over here. Finnegan, all Finnegan, just as it should be. Oh, the lights were on. That's a very good graphics for lights. It's honestly really bad. But the bar, but the garage itself looks really awesome. Finnegan, all Finnegan. Just as it should be. Finnegan, oh Finnegan. Best town ever been. That's what they did, except for their whole front end went in. Like that. But their whole front end went in. So it's kind of from, it was kind of from this side. I know, I made the hole, but you know, I was supposed to do that before the video so I could say the story. 
but you know, pretend that I didn't make the hole like the car went in like this. But the pothole was probably half the size, half the size as it was. So they couldn't get out. They had to uh, call us. Honestly, they called the boss seven times until he finally picked up in the middle of the night, screaming, "What? What could you possibly want?" He said, "Yo, man, you got a skidster, right?" And the boss said, "Yeah. Why? You drunk in a pothole?" The dude said yes. So then we had to fix that because apparently drunks can't see anything, but they drive. So Finnegan, oh Finnegan, just doesn't trim me. Finnegan, oh Finnegan. Okay. Yeah, we have this to liquidize up the uh, hole. We use that so, like, then the hole is more sturdy on the bottom, so then it levels all the way up. It, it works. I don't know how it does. Finnegan, oh Finnegan. Sorry, I don't know why, but that song stuck in my head. Best time smooth as school's ever been. Finnegan. Crap. I like that. Where it says TLX 2020 when it's first starting up. Sometimes that lags out though. Finnegan, oh Finnegan, just as it should be. Finnegan, oh. Yeah, the keys are always in the vehicles, but the doors are always locked. Not in the cars, but in shop like the doors are always locked unless there's someone else in the shop if the doors aren't locked then they get punished they get suspended for two weeks go door shut that's how you can tell that we need some extra storage <laughs> that's how you know this is a serious construction company not some little toy toy playground Gotta park the semi real quick. I'm pretty sure you can see the orange from a mile away. So, you know. I don't think you need to watch out for that. You'll be able to see that from a mile away. Alright, Floyd, we're coming in. Yeah, that's right, boys. The boss is named Stewart. I don't know. I don't know his name. But if we ever have to say his name, I'm gonna make it Floyd, because that sounds funny. Oh. They also said that we have to park our cars in that garage over there. Because he said that we're not gonna get any more equipment besides that one piece that we want oh so very badly. But now that I have it, some people can use it. So, I'm gonna park my car. No, actually, I'm going home. That's right, I'm going home. I finished my shift. I done my part. So, tomorrow, that's when we gotta finish that up. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, and notification bell. If you guys did like this video, please subscribe. And if you guys want to see more of this content, leave down hashtag construction site. And then I will see your comment, and then you can do some more construction series. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.